for over 20 years, Frederick Bagonza told the state house where he mowed alone. Today, the 44 year old lives in Esquara. His home is a racket structure in Kitoro, a suburb in Entebbe, where he has to escape the punishing cold in the night to sleep adjacent to the seductively glittering state house. As the night approaches, Bagonza gathers papers to sleep because he does not have a mattress. He lost his properties after he failed to pay rent to the landlord. His wife also fled the home after he was sacked. In February this year, Bagonza was sacked from his job after his health started failing when he discovered he was HIV positive. NTV has seen a copy of Bagonza's serial status from the AIDS support organization. Though Bagonza claims he informed his employers of his status quo, his employers decided to terminate him without gratuity. For a man who has served diligently with an impeccable disciplinary record, Bagonza was sent into the world of despair. However, State House Controller Lucy Nacho Bembonye claims that Bagonza was a habitual absentee and did not inform his superiors of his poor health. In her letter dated 1st July this year, Nachobe argues that public service standing orders empowers her to sack an employee who abandons duty. NTV has also seen a copy of the letter by the Assistant Commissioner of Labor raising concern to the State House Controller Lucy Nachobe. However, a workers' body is raising a red flag about the treatment of Bagonza. According to our law of Uganda, any worker who is HIV positive and has declared is not supposed to be terminated. According to the National Trade Union Chairman Wilson Owere, the state infringed on Bagonza's rights as a worker. We cannot allow this kind of thing to go unchallenged. State House is a very important house in this country where I feel the, star, the, 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 the state house controller must have followed the law, must have also have a good heart, let him get his terminal benefit if they don't want him to, to, to work. Secondly, it should be also a lesson to all the employers, including state house, that when somebody is sick, he must be given the address, must be helped. I want to appeal to His Excellency, the President. State House is his area. Let him intervene. A Ugandan cannot suffer like this. And the HIV and AIDS activist Dr. Lydia Mongerera says situation underpins employers' negligence towards HIV positive workers. An organizational institution can be sued for chasing away a person who lives with HIV just because of their status. That one is suable. Somebody can be sued for that. You can seek legal redress. Because when you are given your contract, I do not think there's a contract which is given to any worker which says that if you, if you become HIV positive, for example, and if you can no longer work, there's supposed to be benefits given to that person so that they can at least retire with, with, an, with some benefits. The issue of chasing away a, a person from work is, a, is so stigmatizing. We don't do st have the stigma and discrimination in workplaces anymore. And nobody's supposed to be chased from work. Working in a state house seemed to be a pride to many Ugandans, but to Fred Kibagonza, his dream came to an end when he lost his job in a state house and was being victimized for being HIV positive. Jingo Francis, NTV.